Hello, sports fans, and welcome. It is I, Noma, back with another card opening video. This is the Smoke 'em If You Got 'em edition. What do I mean by that? Well, Smoke 'em If You Got 'em is a term from, I believe, World War II. Basically means, you know, eat, drink, and be merry. If you've got cigarettes to smoke, smoke them because we don't know if we'll be here tomorrow. Now, I certainly hope I'll be here tomorrow, but where is here? Because in today's modern age, I'm almost certainly posting this from somewhere overseas. I live in northern Arizona in the United States, but I'm heading to Europe for the trip of a lifetime in just a matter of days. So, while I'm here and able to open, I am opening so that I can post while I'm gone for your viewing pleasure. We are searching for the elusive Julio Bobby and Torque short print from 2022 Tops. Series 2. This is our second video to that effect. There is not a ton in this product. There are Stokes Strider rookies. There are O'Neill Cruz rookies. But we are looking for the big stuff right in the middle of the packs. And that will be colored cards. And that would be the SP cards, which I believe are backwards. So if we come up with anything... Ooh, that is backwards. If we come up with anything backwards, we like that. So Giancarlo, Greg Maddox. That's all kind of meh, whatever. Hope that you're having an awesome day or an awesome night. I certainly am, although I'm really hoping to pull something good so they didn't just waste money on these 12 packs. First, uh, first opening had some interesting things in it. We got a vintage stock card. We got a advanced stats card. Ooh, there's another backwards thing. Hopefully you didn't see that one already. We'll come back to all of this. We'll come back to all of the bountiful. Oh, there's a Strider rookie. We'll come back to all of the bountiful things at the end. I'm gonna do this one a little different. There's one Yepes rookie. Don't hear really much about him this year. Last year was good. I do just apropos of nothing at all. I really like that card. Wilson Contreras getting it done. William, I should say. Just a great, great card. All right, so we're going to do two fat packs at a time. Three times. Look at all of the yum yum in the middle, right at the very end. And I hope that we are going to make my day and your day. I really do enjoy these because they're not very affordable. Excuse me, not very expensive. And what you can find is just beyond compare. But you can also strike out horribly because it's not hobby, it's retail and Hobby generally will guarantee more things. There's a something backwards in there. There's an Acuna generation now. That's kind of cool. Stage worthy. I don't really think the Stars of MLB cards are stage worthy. I was saving them for a while, but I started to put them in Sedona Mega Box products. Just because, you know, after you've got all of them. They're just not that interesting to you anymore. We're coming up on the middle of the second of this pack and nothing backwards on this one, unfortunately. Got a Yohan Mankata generation now. That's kind of whatever. <clears throat> George Brenner, yeah, there's literally nothing in this second pack, but that's okay. This is kind of high risk, high reward. You get a lot of cards. Let me rephrase that. It's kind of uh, low risk, high reward, but there's no medium reward. I say it's low risk because it's cheap. It's cheap to buy these fat packs in the secondary market. Uh, I got a Shohei Otani short print variation. I've pulled all of the short prints of the rookies. We've gotten all of it. Um, Pretty sweet. Right, there's the middle of the next fat pack. 
which includes the Altuve Chrome Stars of MLB. And something backwards. I don't know that we've got any of the rookie short prints here, but we do have some interesting colored cards. Okay, I think this is our last shot at one of the rookies. This is the last pack. <clears throat> and I hope you're doing awesome. I'm kind of at the end of my day, but my wife is out my son is occupied and so we gonna rip there's that card again that i love kind of weird i didn't get any o'neill Cruz at all in these packs usually get at least one of his rookies okay so let's see what we have here i actually makes more sense to Flip it over and go like this. Looks like Willie Calhoun. And that's a vintage stock. So this is very interesting. We've gotten two vintage stock cards in a total of 12 packs. There was one in the previous video as well. They are to 99. They're really rare. They're really cool. I mean, they, they feel noticeably different on the back. Even if they weren't numbered, you would know you would know that that's a numbered card or that there's something unusual about that card. Okay, here we have a Stars of MLB Chrome Altuve. And then the reveal is, what? How is that even possible? <laughs> or a Lopez vintage stock? I, I, okay. I have opened a fair amount of this product searching for those short print guys. And this is really interesting to get three vintage stock in 12 packs. Very unusual. Like that's super weird. I wish one of those was Spencer Strider. I mean, that would be huge. Or the O'Neill Cruz Rookie, which I promise you is in here. <clears throat> we just haven't seen any. Oh, wow. This is going to be... This is a Father's Day blue card, I believe. Please be someone good. Uh, it's a Blue Jay. That's going to... Is that Kirk? Wow, okay. That's actually a pretty good card. That's a decent card. Alejandro Kirk to 50. Cool. I'll have to look him up. I don't really know how he's doing this year. I believe that the Blue Jays traded him to the Diamondbacks for Dalton Varsho, if I remember correctly. That's a pretty rare card. Father's Day Blue Parallel. Definitely will take that for sure. Not sure the book value there, but that's that's cool. Very, very cool. All right. Looks like we had a DeGrom here, which we'll use to reveal the last card of interest. Uh, it's horizontal. Is that Manny? Okay, that's a Manny Machado photo variant. <clears throat> the way you're going to be able to tell. Let's see if I can get in on this here a little bit. If it will let me, or it's going to pixel out. Sorry about that, guys. There we go. 052. Eight six five. Now you notice that a normal quote unquote card out of here is going to be oh five two eight four seven. That's just the standard base Brian Reynolds. Let's look at the Jake McCarthy. See that oh five. 
2947. Just as long as we're at it, we'll look at a few other codes here. Here's the vintage stock, Lopez. So that's kind of interesting. It also is saying 052847, but obviously it's different. So the vintage stock is not gonna have a different number. Let's just carry on down the rabbit hole, shall we? I'm here for it if you are. 052847 on the Father's Day as well. So, I'm going to sleeve up this Manny so it doesn't get hurt. Uh, yeah, so that's kind of kind of neat. This is the. O five two eight six five. So if you're paying attention, <clears throat> it'll be flipped around in the pack. And if you open enough of the product, you're also I'll just zoom back out here. If you open enough of the product, you're also going to recognize that that's a different kind of card. However, the only way to know for sure is to check the little codes. So. And this is how it is with tops in general. One of the things that I really love about the Topps Heritage product is that the variants say on the back that they're a variant. Whereas you would have no way to know that this wasn't just a common card or number 600 if it wasn't for that. Right? And I'm just looking on eBay to verify. This is the SP. It's not the SSP, unfortunately. But it is the SP. But that's cool. That's like a $10 card or so. Pretty nice. So no short print rookies. This is actually kind of a neat card because in the background, the umpire is signaling it a fair ball. But he's gone into foul territory to make the throw. I bet he nailed them, too. You guys can probably hear that plane going by in the background. So I am um, I'm not unhappy at all with these six packs. Here's uh, DeGrom. You know, certainly don't even, ex don't even begin to expect to see an auto in here. Um, if we get real lucky, we see those short prints. You know, you have to buy a lot of the product to get them. But it is cool to see the, it is cool to see the short printed and variant cards. So let's do a quick review. We got a Topps Chrome Stars of MLB. Now the Stars of MLB, there's two or three in every pack, but the Chrome ones are a bit more rare. Yepes Rookie. Diving looks like back into first, maybe. Acuna Jr., Generation Now, tearing up the league this year. Hall of Famer, 87 style, like that a lot. Mancata Generation Now. Strider, rookie, as I said in the last video. My opinion, he is going to be the number one starter in the National League as Clayton Kershaw, Max Scherzer, Justin Verlander, those guys go away. DeGrom's already left the National League. I think he's going to be the guy. This is probably, I'm guessing, the best card in this group. I'm, I think this is around a $20 or $30 book value card, about a $10 sale card on eBay. But this is really nice. Father's Day parallel. And we got two vintage stock. So I'm just going to, since they're just sitting right here, do a quick review of everything that we got in here. <clears throat> so let's just take a look just for fun. So we got yesterday, we got um, a couple rainbow foils. We didn't get any with this one. So yeah. Not bad at all. The all together, we're looking at three vintage stock, which I think is very anomalous. 
very unusual, but you can see in the top right, there's that little different old school Topps logo. And if you could feel these cards, not only are they numbered, but they feel very different on the back. They almost feel like a heritage card on the back. And then the glossy flagship on the front. As I mentioned, no O'Neill Cruz rookies, which is a bit surprising. We've got a couple of Striders. We got between the 12 packs total between the two videos, we got a bunch of stars of MLB. Three of them are Chrome. Uh, as we discussed last time, last time we pulled two rainbow foils. We didn't pull any with this group. Got the Josh Bell advanced stats last time. And then in this one, we got the Father's Day card to 50, which is quite unusual. Don't see those every day. And then, um, <clears throat> yeah, just a lot of kind of interesting filler cards. I'm, I'm content with this 12 fat packs. I think we did very well. Of course, would have loved to have gotten one of those rookies or just something even more rare and cool. But yeah, I'll take it. Uh, please let me know in the comments if you like this. Oh, almost forgot. That's the best one. Future Hall of Famer photo image variation. Aside from the rarity and the quality of the player, I just really like the card. Just a great picture. So, yeah, let me know if you want me to do more of this. I mean, I'm the channel is here for you. Uh, most channels, of course, focus on newer product. And um, I'm happy to open newer product too. But if you like kind of the, the last year's product, it's pretty affordable to get. And this particular chase is fun. So let me know. If you want me to keep looking for the J-Rod, the wit, and the twerk for you, please give me a thumbs up. Please subscribe if you have not done that already. Just hit the subscribe. Hit the like button. Give me a little comment. Type away. And we'd love to hear from you. Love how the channel's growing. I keep hearing from more and more people. And it's awesome. It's so exciting. It's so exciting to be with you guys and to have the channel grow. So please keep coming back. I love spending this time with you. And just remember, no ma loves ya. See you tomorrow, everyone. Hello, sports fans. It is I, no ma, back with another card opening video for your enjoyment. Today is going to be a little something different. Uh, 2023 Series 2 is happening, and it's exciting. All kinds of good stuff in there. But we are going back one year, 2023 Series 2. 2022, I mean. And why would we want to do that? Well, here's the thing. There is not a whole lot exciting in this product, especially not in the retail, which is what this is. This is 6 Fat packs for the retail, which I got from David Adams. But, but, important, but, there are short prints of Spencer Torkelson, Bobby Witt Jr., and Julio Rodriguez. And they're going to be toward the middle of each of these packs, if they're in there at all. There's also all kinds of refractors and different interesting color. The odds of getting an autograph in here are extremely low. But other things can happen. Gold is one out of seven packs. Rainbow, one out of four. Blue, one out of five. Green, one out of 27. So, you know, it's very gettable. There's vintage stock. Mother's Day stuff, Father's Day, Memorial Day. All of the things you'd expect. You can pause this if you really want to take a good look at it. Now, have I pulled the short prints out of this already? Yes. But you didn't get to see it because I didn't have my channel yet. So we're just going to see what we can get here. And I hope that you really enjoy it. Just a little novel video for you today. I'm not going to spend a lot of time because there's not a ton of good cards in here. O'Neill Cruz Rookie is in here. Crawford, Cutter Crawford, he's decent. Put him in the orchestra, decent prospect. Shohei always deserves an orchestra spot. Joe Ryan. So, you know, just as I'm saying, there's nothing really good. I mean, there's stuff that's okay. The Goldschmidt MVP. You can see here's the color and stuff back here. 
Rookie of Jack Lopez. Nothing to write home about. I would love to get some O'Neill Cruz color. That would be super cool. I did pull a... Oh, Spencer Strider rookie is in here too. I did pull a Spencer Strider rookie. Um, use the Adamas card to reveal this rainbow foil. Looks like a pitcher. I did, I did get a short print of the Spencer Strider rookie where he's actually batting, so that was a really cool card. This looks like an Astro, and that's going to be Urquidy, I believe. Okay. So Urquidy, Rainbow Foil, No Hit Club, Big Unit, uh, Cedric Mullins, Stars of MLB, Shohei Stars. We'll put that on the stage. We'll put it with his base card. So... Most of the time, that's what you get. You kind of get a dud pack. I would I would classify that as a dud pack. But if it's not a dud, you are psyched because you just got a Julio Rodriguez short print or a Bobby or a Torque or something else interesting. So we'll just see if we get lucky. I mean, the way that I pulled them, it's kind of like Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. I just bought a ton of this. I bought it in Hobby. And I didn't have any luck. And then I realized that in hobby, you're paying more because of the autographs and the relics, which I didn't really care about. I was just trying to get those cards. And uh, it did work. It took a long time. <laughs> it worked and it was more economical than doing it um, the hobby way. But I just wanna, I wanna get that magic for you guys. I want you to see one of these short prints. They're so cool. All right, so here we are at the middle of the second pack. I hope you guys understand what I'm doing. When I get to the middle, I'm just shuffling it to the back so that um, it's easy. This is gonna be Stars of MLB Chrome. That's probably Corbin Burns, decent. The Stars of MLB Chrome are rarer than the regular Stars of MLB, which you're going to get a couple in each pack. Mejia, Rainbow, that's fine. Nothing too exciting. Warren Spawn, a couple more Stars of MLB, whatever. Nothing exciting so far. Nothing to write home about. So far, the Foil Shohei is the best card, and it's not even really that good of a card. But we'll take it. Looks like we got a blue in here. Uh, we'll put that right behind the card of Harper and Wander, which is a decent card. So again, if we get an O'Neill Cruz or a Spencer Strider base rookie, that's cool. There's the Strider, as promised. Beautiful card. I think that if he's not already, within the next few years, he will be the best or top three best pitchers in the National League. If you think about it, you know, Verlander's getting old, Scherzer's getting old, you know. The torch will get passed, and I think it's going to get passed to him. I mean, he's already just strikeout king. Speaking of strikeout kings, nice card with a green monster in the background. Chris Sale just got hurt, unfortunately, which hurts my fantasy team. I kind of cruised by that card earlier. Polar Bear and Lindor, I like that card. That's cool. Put it aside. Uh, this is a cool card too. You got Shohei and uh, Brandon Marsh in there. Okay, so MVP meets Rookie. That's a cool card. Uh, I think it looked at about $4 last time I checked. This is going to be a blue card of an outfielder. And it's going to be... Bradley Zimmer. Womp womp. Not that interesting. Okay, but here's something cool. Here's something cool. We like that. We always like to see Mike Trout. 87 parallel of Trout. A couple stars of MLB. Uh, I believe we've seen those already. Altuve and Francisco Lindor. We got three to go, guys. I am going to do one more video of this. That's assuming I don't buy anymore. I probably won't since I've already accomplished my objective. I was just kind of wanting to share these with you guys. I probably will just do two videos of this and be done, but we'll see. 
It all depends on my analysis of market value. If these cards go down enough in price that I think it's worth opening more for the very low odds of getting one of those short print rookies, then I will buy more. There's the Bradley Zimmer non-blue. It's a cool card, making a great catch. There's Yaz and Crawford, it's a cool card. Brandon Crawford's sister is married to Garrett Cole, fun fact. All right, we've got a rainbow foil here. Please be O'Neill Cruz. It'd be so nice if it was O'Neill Cruz. Looks like I've got it upside down, maybe. Oh, it's a generation now. It's not even a rainbow. It's going to be Freddie Peralta. So this pack is pretty whatever. I mean, I guess I'll put Maggie up there just because we need to flesh out the stage a little bit. Oops. But not too interesting. All right, two packs to go. Let's get some magic. Let's make it happen. I mean, when I was when I was actively searching for those short prints, you know, I would just open pack after pack after pack after pack <laughs> of this, and I would just go through it so fast, even faster than I'm going right now. It was a little bit... Oh, we got a numbered card in there. I hope I didn't reveal it. It was a little bit... How would I say... Awesome. <laughs> it was really fun. That's what it was. That's what it was. It was awesome. Awesome uh, beer rookie. Mm. Put it up there for now. I love that Nico Wrigleyville. If this were Heritage, then I would know that this was a very rare 1 in 10,000 packs card because that's how they do the throwback unis in Heritage, but it's not like that in Flagship. Just a standard card. Just a card. Just a pretty card. Kervin Castro, rookie. Now, how am I going to do this? We need to reveal what's back here. Willie Mays, 87. Giancarlo, stars of MLB. I guess we'll put that in the orchestra. And then we'll use the Willie Mays to reveal the colored card, which I feel like I've already partially revealed at least twice. I think it's Castro from the Angels. Oh, it's vintage stock. Sandoval, rather, from Angels. Okay, but it's Vintage Sock, which is very cool. Uh, corner problem. That's not awesome. But, uh, yeah, so the Vintage Sock, it just feels on the back very papery. It's not glossy. And it has the, the old-timey tops label, so that's pretty cool. I better sleeve that one. Any Angels fans out there interested in this card, you let me know. I, I do like that he's in the, the throwback Angels uniform. That's a cool card. Maybe I'll PC it. All right. So we have got a prime spot right in the center of the stage ready for a big, big, big card coming up in the middle of this next pack. I feel it. I feel it coming. There's Brandon Lau from the Devil Rays. Luis Garcia. Looks like we have a Jordan. Stars of MLB Chrome. We got another MVP meets rookie. We'll just orchestra that one since we've already got one on the stage. Whoops, sorry guys. I'm going to slow reveal this. Very cool. Tops Chrome. Stars of MLB. Oh, we got another backwards card. Move that one to the back. It looks like the Washington National. Can't think of any good Washington Nationals in this particular product, but we'll see. Didn't hit any O'Neill Cruz. It's a little weird. Okay, so I'm going to flip these over. The um, numbered cards are generally flipped around in this. Let's see who it is and what is special about it. Looks like Josh Bell. And given that it's not a color, but we know that it is numbered, I'm guessing this is an advanced stats parallel. And it sure is. So this is kind of a cool card. If you look at, it shows his exit velocity, Barrels. Yeah, just cool. That's very cool. 
I'll take that card, number to 300. So yeah, it's pretty neat. Overall, I am exactly satisfied with this box. I'm exactly satisfied. We got quite a few rookies. We got a couple of the MVP meets rookie uh, Franco and Harper cards. And in fact, that is going to be our giveaway. If you are subscribed to the channel and you're the first to comment and you want that card, let me know and I will send it to you. Please make sure you are subscribed first. Uh, what is the best card in here? Kind of hard to say because it's a little mediocre. Um, probably the bell, well, probably a Sandoval, I guess. It's numbered lower. But the Chrome Stars of MLB is also very cool. So we'll just do a quick review of these guys. And then we will send you on your way. Hope you enjoyed this rip. Last year's product, not hot off the press, but cool. Nothing too exciting in here. But we had the thrill of wondering if maybe, just maybe, we we're going to hit that Julio. And I'll tell you one thing, if you don't buy the product, you're not going to hit the Julio. You know what I'm saying? Got to be in the game to win the game. Strider, that's a really nice card. It's only going to go up in value. Corbin Burns, Stars of MLB Chrome. Those are more rare, a little more valuable. No hit club, Randy. Shohei, Seth Beer rookie, Miggy Trout, 87. MVP me tricky one. Yep, has rookie Crawford rookie, Giancarlo, Shohei, Joe Ryan, Willie Mays 87. A couple of rainbows, Mejia and Urquidy. So, you know, again, even if you don't hit one of the short prints of the three key rookies, you know, like a rainbow foil of the O'Neill Cruz or the Spencer Strider, like if this card looked like that, it would be quite valuable. So there's definitely stuff to be had in this product still. Don't don't sleep on it. If you see it for a good price, grab it. Josh Bell Advanced Stats, Sandoval Vintage Stock, and the Jordan. So, like I said, uh, I'm exactly satisfied. I'm actually sitting here wondering if I should um, if I should extend this and do the other six that I have. But I think I'm going to wait, and we'll just do two different videos. I do hope that you enjoyed this one. Please give me a like, a subscribe, and a comment. I am doing daily content, so obviously some days are better than others. This box was kind of meh, but it doesn't matter. You know why? Because Noma loves you. Thank you all so much, and we will see you tomorrow.